Hi everyone, it's me, Ronnie. So sorry I've been MIA for a while. It's just been crazy with life changes going on and honestly I really haven't been inspired to make beauty videos just because of personal reasons. I may go ahead and make a video in the future telling why I haven't been making videos as consistently as I'd like to be and so on and so forth. But anyway, back to the reason why I'm making this video. So I've been looking online and have been really seeing this product, you know, been popping up recently, especially because everybody's raving about it because if you think about it, the product that it's duping is really worth $18 for a small bottle. So, you know, the dupes are actually like $4 anywhere, you know, below that, especially if they're on sale. So, especially with the pigmentation that they've been giving off Everybody's just been so happy to find these products, but they are the J-Cat Wonder Lip Paints. And this is the first one that I'm actually wearing on my lips. I am a fan of the color, but um, it's really awesome. So I'll definitely go ahead and start reviewing. And I do apologize, this may be a long video, only because I do have all 18 of them. So... Just stick around and I will definitely go over each and every color. And honestly, afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and go over why I like them so much and what are the, the cons of the product. So stay tuned and if you haven't, just go ahead and down below, actually be on this side, so I'll use my other hand. Just go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned. Let's go over the colors. Alright, let's go ahead and start with the first color. This is Caterpillar Smoke, and this one is number WLP101. Let me see if I can pull this up. If it's screwed it in. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So I have to apologize ahead of time. Some this camera, or I think most cameras, are really not going to do the uh, the colors justice. It's going to look, this actually looks like a light pastel pink, but I am going to tell you, this is a bright pink. Let me see if I can actually zoom in the camera, show you. So yeah, unfortunately, camera is really not doing it justice, but in the in the tubing, it looks like it's a pastel pink, but it's a high shimmer very bright pink like I say like all the time I apologize but when you think of pink this is like bubble gum pink so if you've ever seen a Barbie doll and you see Barbie wearing pink lipstick yes it is that pink but absolutely gorgeous very moisturizing and definitely you do not need a lot of color or product to get this pigmentation so I think I maybe used like a small ball size so maybe about that much product to get the full coverage so I'm definitely liking this one I would probably use this bright pink with a neutral eye color I'm actually wearing uh, bright pinks in my eye and this is just way too much for me. I feel like I'm in pink overload. So I have a daughter too, so lots and lots of pink. So definitely not not a fan of it. So I won't be wearing this color as much, but I do like it. So this was Caterpillar Smoke. Alright, so the next color that we're definitely doing now, this is WLP 102's Second Impossible Thing. So as you can see here on my lips, it comes off as a red orangey color. I will say that you will need to definitely go ahead and use a fairly larger amount of this product in order to be able to get a uh, much more uh, pigmented look. Unfortunately, when I initially tried it, it came off more as like a reddish lip gloss type of deal so in order to build up for this payoff 
I had to go ahead and, well, I actually did two things. First, I tried to shake around the packet to see if the color was actually setting. But once I realized that I still was getting that reddish lip glossy effect, I just went ahead and I added more product and voila, the payoff here. But I like it. It's a nice little uh, refreshing bright color. Obviously, if you're trying to make your lips the center of attention, <laughs> this is it. This would definitely be one of the colors. Go ahead and pair it off with like a neutral eye. I would probably end up avoiding a red color in your eye because it would just be too, you know, uniform and definitely, like I said before, moisturizing stays in place. I will say that be careful because it can, I don't know if you can see, but it can stain the skin. So I would go ahead and use a makeup remover to be able to remove all traces of this lip, um, lip paint. So yeah, I definitely give it a thumbs up and this was second impossible thing. Alright, so the next color that we are talking about is WLP 103 Always Late Rabbit. And here's the word on the paper. Let's see if I can zoom that in. Don't know. Hold on. It's not coming up. Maybe it doesn't want to focus, guys. I apologize. Oh, there we are. So, yeah. Always Late Rabbit 103. This, although it's coming up as purple on your screen, is actually a pinkish purple. So if you're afraid of caterpillar smoke, this is a good alternative because it's not too purple, but it's not too pink. So it's a everyday wearable color. So I definitely like this color and it's really smooth. Did not need a lot of product in order to get it around my lips, so this one will last a long time as well. So, I like this color too. So, this one is probably going to be a everyday color for me. So, I'm going to definitely rock this on there. Um, lots of, uh, you know, moisturizing. Doesn't feel dry on my lips. That's probably my pet peeve when it comes to lipsticks. So... Definitely pick this one up if you're a fan of the pinkish purple color. This one is always Late Rabbit. Alright, so the next color that we are definitely talking about now is going to be WLP 104, Hardidocious. See if I can get it to focus. There we go. So Believe it or not, this is going to be a bright medium pink. That's what it's coming off as. I know it comes off of my lips as a red color. It could be that it's the lighting, but I do apologize. In order to get, have a good quality video and for it to look nice, I have to have lights. So it's actually like a bright medium pink. So if you're into the pink colors, this is for you. So I don't know what I would really top this with. Usually I would do a neutral eye, maybe like a gray -ish smoky eye if you want bold lips, but very moisturizing. Again, you don't need a lot of product in order to get good pigmentation with this color. So if you're into medium bright pinks, definitely pick this one up. Again, WLP 104, Hardidocious. So this one is WLP 105 Much Mucher, and I have to apologize, but the lighting really doesn't do it justice again on this one. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to turn one of my lights down so that you can actually see what the color looks like. So I do apologize if the quality of the video kind of goes down for a bit, but I really want you to see what this color looks like. It's a really bright orange, but it's really fun, and it's lit. for me, in my skin tone, it's really a fun color to go to, so it wouldn't be something that's, like, super outrageous. So if you're my skin tone or darker, you may be able to pull this color off, especially because, you know, we're a little darker skin than, let's say, the fair 
you know, skinned ladies or gentlemen, whoever wants to wear this. So let me go ahead and turn down the light so that you can go ahead and see what this really looks like. So, as you can see, it's a very orangey color. And once we get to it, I really want you guys to, uh, I'm going to explain what my frustration is with this color. Not with the color itself, I should take that back. It's really something about the name of the color, but that'll be a few shades down. So I will definitely try to remember to uh, bring it up if I remember. <laughs> so it should because it's the issue that I have with the name is in the name itself. So you'll definitely see what I'm talking about. But again, this is WLP 105. And this was much, muchier. All right. So I'm back. And this one is the WLP 106 Mimsy. And you can't really tell from a, uh, on the bottle, from the bottle, you can kind of presume that it's a like a brownish color, but to tell you the truth, it's a brown color with some orange undertones in it. So it really goes well with anybody who has my skin complexion. Um, you don't need a lot of product in order to get coverage for this color. And it's, again, really smooth. Um, if you wanted to build up the color some more, you don't have to worry about like the ruby lip lacquers. If you put too much product on, you get that sticky feeling. For these, this one, you really don't get that sticky feeling. You'll always get that moisturizing, smooth um, glide type of when you rub your lips together. So this color, absolutely beautiful. If you're trying to downplay your lips, this is the color to do it so you can amp up your eyes and do whatever it is you'd like to do with your eyes. But again, if you really like this color, this was 106 Mimsy, if I can get this to focus. So the next color that we're doing that I'm currently wearing is the WLP 107 and this is Underland. It is a very pale light pink and it's very shimmery and honestly it's probably one of my least favorite colors at least on me with my complexion. If you are my complexion and your picture is to be is going to be taken, you'll probably show up with white lips. So <laughs> with a little bit of pink on it. So I don't really like it. It washes out my complexion. If you are of darker complexion, you may be definitely able to rock this color. Unfortunately, I cannot. So I don't think also that my pink eyeshadow is helping my cause. I don't think I will be wearing this outside anytime soon unless I maybe do a like a dark eye maybe maybe like a bold dark eye. I don't think so though but um, yeah this was WLP 107 and this was Underland. Oh it's not focusing guys I apologize. So the current color that I'm doing on my lips right now is the WLP 108 and this is Looking Glass. And this is a peachy pale color. So if I thought that Underland washed me out, this one is even worse. This looks like I just decided to put concealer on my lips and just walk out the door. So I'm not a really big fan of it. I really liked it on the, the model that I saw this on. It could be because they were of dark complexion. Some of the pale girls I saw could rock this color, but I think because of the undertones in my skin, it's really washing me out and it looks like I was doing something naughty in the back of an alley. And I'm sorry if you are younger than an adult to see this but this is what it really feels like to me so um i don't know 
I'm not really a big fan of it. it I think it actually looks horrible on me. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and not wear this color around outside anymore. Maybe if I want to look like death, I'll just walk around <laughs> home and all that. So that was WLP108, and it was, if I can get this to focus, probably not, because that's just the luck I've been having. This is looking glass. So we have definitely gone to the other side of the spectrum. We went from light colors to this. So actually, if you think about it, JCAT the line, it, they go, they vary from color to color. So it's not really like an even spectrum. But this one is WLP 109. And this is Queen of Hearts. I'm not going to show you the label because it's actually futile because of how dark it comes off on here. So you really can't I don't think you'll be able to see the the writing on there, even if I tried. Yeah, so it looks black, but it's actually a midnight plum color. So in case you were really interested in looking for, let me hold this in the screen. <laughs> if you were really looking for the um, rival to like the Ruby Kisses Midnight Plum color, the lip lacquer, and you find this one, pick this up because you won't be disappointed in the color. Absolutely beautiful. It's a nice vampy color, creamy smooth. Love it. One thing I will say though is that it does stain the lips. So. In all honesty, if I wasn't going chronologically, I probably would have saved this and another color for last just because it stains the lips. Obviously, you don't need a lot of product in order to get this payoff. So it's not black. It's like a dark purple red color. So this was WLP 109 in Queen of Hearts. So the color that we're doing right now that I'm currently wearing is WLP 110's Orange Delight. And it, as you can see, it has kind of like, with my complexion, it does kind of have a orange tint to it. I will say, though, that this is where I bring up the point that I w was mentioning when I was doing Much Muchmucher, that this one should have been Much Muchmucher, in my opinion. The color in much muchier that it's currently in is actually more of an orange payoff than say the orange delight you can't really tell because of the packaging but this is a bright orange neon color versus this is more of a deep orange type of deal so in my opinion just by looking at it definitely the much muchmucher should have been Orange Delight and then this one much muchmucher but honestly I kind of like the Orange Delight because it's a nice safe color for me to be able to wear I can rock it with my complexion of course anybody can with their, their complexion I believe if you like orange definitely pick up Orange Delight so the current color that I'm wearing on my lips is WLP 111's and this is Red Potion if you have this red, po if you have red potion and then you have Queen of Hearts together, you can obviously see that red potion is much more of a red color. It's burgundy, and the color is absolutely gorgeous. I think anybody can really rock this color if they're going for a dark, bold lip. So um, definitely pick this one up if you're a little afraid of the Queen of Hearts. But absolutely, I actually love them both. So, um, beautiful red color. You don't need a lot of product in order for the burgundy color to look. You don't have to build it up or anything like that. So, if you're a fan of bold red lips, pick this one up. And again, this was WLP 111. And this was Red Potion. So if you hear any dripping on the window, it's because it's raining, and of course, when I'm recording, it really does decide to rain as hard as it can. But 
The color that I'm currently wearing on my lips is WLP's 112, and this is Blabberwocky. It may come off on your screen as an orange color, but I promise you it's like a medium rose color, pastel type of deal. So apparently J-Cat really likes its pinks. I like this color. I'll probably be wearing it a lot more than the other pinks that I have that are in the collection. But it really looks nice and it's a nice shimmery color. You do not need a whole bunch of product in order to get this color payoff. So that's always a plus. This one will be lasting you long as well. So this one was WLP 112 and this was in called Blabberwocky. So we're we're getting close to the end guys, so thank you so much for being patient with me. But this next color that we're doing is WLP 113 and this is Mad Splatter. So essentially as you can see it's a reddish color, but the really cool thing about it is is when if the light hits just right, you can definitely see some purple accents in it, like a purple shimmer kind of reflection deal going on. You don't need a lot of product in order to get this payoff or to get the accents on there. And as you can see, it's like a medium red, almost getting to the, you know, to the red potion. So it would be on that spectrum. So I really like this color. You can, you know, use it as a bold lip. You can use it with a neutral eye. You can definitely... This color gives you a lot of options is what I'm really trying to say. So if you like the reddish colors, purplish colors, or if you want something that's a bold where you don't have to go to Red Potion or Queen of Hearts, definitely pick up WLP 113. And this was, again, in Mad Splatter. So the color I'm currently wearing is WLP 114, and this is Curiouser. I don't know if anybody's really picked it up but the colors seem to be named for, after uh, Alice in Wonderland, it seems like. But, um, yeah, as you can see, it is a, I like to call this a hot chocolate color because it reminds me of the top of hot chocolate if you've ever seen, like, that light brownish color. I like it because it's in the realm of the nude colors, so if you really want something to play down your lips if you're my complexion, definitely pick this one up. It's absolutely beautiful. It gives you the opportunity to rock a bold eye. And honestly, it does not make me self-conscious to be able to walk out this door with my bold pink eyes and walk out with this lip color. So very moisturizing, does not bleed, very little product needed in order to pull off the pigmentation. So if you really like the way this color looks on me, or if you really just want to pick it up and see for it yourself, this was 114 in Curious Sir. So we finally come to one of my favorite colors on this line, and this is WLP 115. This is Chest Desire Cat. And I would have to say, when I was looking at the colors on the swatches, when you bring up Google Images, and this is one of the first if not one of the first, one of the primary swatch color pictures that they bring up. And it shows a whole bunch of purples, but honestly, this one is the only true purple color that they have. Now, it did look darker on the picture, but honestly, this is like a pastel purple color. I absolutely love it. It's totally fun. I would go ahead and tone down your eyes to make this the center of attention because honestly I haven't seen a whole lot of purple colors like this purple so definitely if you want to go ahead and have a fun look and want to bring attention to those pretty lips of yours definitely pick up WLP 115 and this was Chess Desire So the color that I'm currently wearing right now in all its uniqueness and glory is WLP 116 Fish Slaver.
And I don't know if you can really tell by it, but it's really a pastelish greenish turquoise color. Honestly, I don't know what I would wear this with. I would probably just do a neutral eye color and that is really it for me. But in all honesty, I really wouldn't, you know, go ahead and wear this outside <laughs> because it's just like, I mean, it's a unique color. I haven't seen, you know, I said Chest Desire Cat was a color that I really haven't seen. But this one, I haven't really seen a turquoise green pastel color. So, yeah, props to J-Cat for uh, an OC, OCC lip tarts or, or OC, I don't even remember what it is, but it's different. I don't think I'd really wear it, and I don't think I really like it. Now, this one, I really had to do at least, like, two swoops back and forth of color in order to spread it, because if not, you get, like, this sheer like greenish color where you, it, you can kind of see it like uneven like a pl application to it so really go over this one well it won't use a lot of product but you know make sure you cover your bases with it but not really a fan of this color so if you are again it is the WLP 116 and this was fish flavor so, we're getting to the last two colors. Can you believe that? Thank you so much for bearing with me. But this interesting color that I'm wearing is actually WLP 117 Duchess with Muchness. Let's see if we can pull this up. I don't know if it wants to focus. This camera has its own mind sometimes. Well, it doesn't want to focus. Oh, there we go. Finally. So, as you can see, this is like a gold yellow color, which I think Ruby Kisses Lip Lacquers is much brighter than this. So, this is kind of like a deeper yellow color with obviously high gloss. So, I can definitely rock this color. I think so. I like it. This is probably one of my favorite colors in this. So, um,. This probably does not make you look like Big Bird, to tell you the truth, like the Ruby uh, Kisses la Lip Lacquer. I don't remember what color it is, but I'll definitely be doing a review on that. But um, as you can see, it's very gold and very high shimmery color. Um, this one is what it looks like in the tube. I had to build up this color. I'm not going to lie. I think I had to do like maybe like a I don't I don't know what to compare it to because it's still small but it's compared to all these other colors that I reviewed it, it I had to use quite a bit of it so um you know just going back and forth making sure it's even and uh, can apply well and you know you get the true pigmentation but I like this color I would probably rock this with like a neutral color, obviously avoiding yellows in the eyes because you don't want to make it look too monochrome, but um, I would wear this outside. I would go outside right now and just be like, woo, let's party, and everybody would probably be like, well, did she eat Big Bird or do something to Big Bird, but I like it. So if you like gold or if you want to try something different that you haven't before, do pick up WLP 117's Duchess with Muchness. So, we've made it to the last color, and as you can see, was it worth the wait? I don't know. <laughs> so, um, this is WLP 118, and this is Wonderland. So, as you can see, it's very blue. I would say another rival of the color that you could use is Ruby Kisses Lip Lacquers in Aruba Blue, if, I, if I'm not mistaken the name. Um, as you can see, very nice, very blue. <laughs> it's, um, not really a color I would wear out. I don't know. Um, if I'm feeling bold, it makes me feel like I ate one too many Smurfs, so that's why I have a blue lip. <laughs> but, um, very little product was needed in order to get the color going. Um, it wasn't like Duchess with Muchness where you have to do a couple of swipes. This was just even application and just go. Um, I don't know. A lot of people says you need like a lip liner in order to be able to, you know, contain it. I really haven't had any issues. 
So, um, yeah, I mean, I like it. I would, I'm going to try to wear it one day out in public if I'm feeling brave. I don't know what I would, I would probably just do, like I've been saying a million times, a neutral eye and then just walk out the door and go. But, um, I don't know. I'd have to maybe get a few drinks in me first. <laughs> but anyway, this was the last color of the line, WLP 118, and this was Wonderland. All right. I was going to put on another color, but honestly, I got too lazy and look at my tissue. <laughs> it's like all dirty and stuff. But, um, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you the pros and cons of the product now that we've gone through the colors and if you really want to make an informed decision. Um, the colors smell nice. It has the peppermint smell and it has a nice little cooling effect on your lips. Unfortunately though, they do not last long. Um, I would recommend that if you know, you're know you going to go eat or drink in places like that, especially like with this color, and you don't want to be left without, you know, sans color on the lips, go ahead and take the tube with you. Uh, it, other than that, it may last you maybe if you're not one of those people that like to go on their lips, like, you know, run their lips back and forth against each other, like, mm, it'll probably last you maybe a good two to three hours but don't quote me on everybody's lips texture is different and the lips may uh, you know your lips may react differently in holding the color than mine will um trying to think of anything else though the lips are very moisturizing as in i don't regret putting on the the uh, product so I know some of the long wearing lipsticks, you know, the ones that go all day, you know, they say the last, you know, 12, 18, 16 hours type of deal, they will dry out your lips. With this, I feel like my lips are hydrated. Um, I don't really need to worry about having to put like a gloss on top of it or anything else because this actually takes care of itself. Another plus that everybody, especially in this economy, will love is that for the pigmentation that you get on these products, you can definitely pick these up without a worry and you're getting your money's worth versus paying, you know, $18 per tube on the OCC lip colors. If that is, if I'm saying the letters correctly, I always get confused. I don't know if it's OOC or if it's OCC, but definitely if you see these at your, um, local beauty store they're probably not going to be in like the main chains like you know like walmart or anything like that or sally's beauty i haven't really seen it at least locally in mine uh you would probably have to go to like those off the chain um off chain like beauty supply stores you'll probably have more luck on that um yeah so pick these up i think like i said i paid maybe like 40 something dollars for the complete collection um, I'll go ahead and I'll leave the, um, JCAT website so you can go ahead and order them. I think they're like $4.99 each there. Um, eBay has them for, I think like six colors. You can get it for like 16. So I ordered two sets. So that was like 33 and then, um, you know, just do whichever ones that you like. There's some offers going on. So, um, definitely pick those up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel subscribe button should be right about there. Go ahead and leave me a like, please. I'll definitely do my best to do other videos for beauty more consistent. I do apologize. I also have another channel, which is for um, crafting and knitting. If you're interested in that, I'll go ahead and uh, put a link below. If not, look up the cursing knitter and you shall see me there. And let me know, comment, tell me which ones you like, which ones you you would pick up and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. I do know that I am definitely getting some of the lip lacquers. I'm going to do all 12, even though one of them is a clear one, I'd still want to get the full set. So stick with me, you guys. I'll definitely be back. And this was the beauty within 1987, AKA Ronnie. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.